Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer. I am back after quite a while. So, uh, I am now available to share and post my videos again. So, uh, I hope you will like my new role in technology and I will uh, show you a lot of scripting, a lot of PowerShell, Windows networking environment, Windows Server 2016, 2019 and 22 related Azure and uh, Google and AWS related labs and hands-on practice. So here in this video, I am going to add MFA multi-factor authentication for a root user for AWS account. So here this is my root user account. You log into your AWS console. Go to services, type IAM, go to the dashboard, and you will see this offer from AWS. So you can add MFA. So move to your right side here, click on add MFA. So you are adding a two factor or three factor authentication. So I am adding here MFA with most likely two factor authentication you have to use your phone so let me make my phone available here which is right handy in front of me so when i receive any message so here i am going to assign mfa it's not activated for the root user so i'm going to assign and device name enter the meaningful name to identify this device okay so this device is uh, I'm going to give them a name, E-I-G-H-T. Now, select MFA device info. What do you want to do? You want to do authenticator app, security key, or hardware TOTP token. So, TOTP is a basically a time-based one-time password. TOTP and most likely in your security environment uh, you have read this abbreviation so I'm going to use authentication app which is default app now I have to open my app here on my phone which you cannot see actually uh, and later on I will actually make some screenshots here to show you here so my authentication app is available and I will say show QR code, click on the plus sign of the code and this will be my personal account. Scan the QR code and yeah, I'm going to scan the QR code and it actually, I took a screenshot for later on and I have this code available and now they ask me to show the MFA first code. So I'm going to show you first code and then they're gonna ask me to show the second code. So first code is there. Uh, it is going to disappear in a second. Then I'm going to show, I'm waiting for the second code because it will stay on for 60 seconds. Now almost done, okay. The second code is coming up now. Okay, so I, Edit up the second code. Okay, MFA device assigned. So you can register to eight MFA devices in any combination. So you can read this information here. So this is my account, my AWS account ID and login. And if you want to edit anything right from here, you can edit actually. So now you are good with this account because my MFA device is assigned. Uh, this is the device which I'm working on right now. So I'm not going to uh, do anything here. I will leave it as it is. So you can read the rest of the information. Now you can log off and log in. So sign out, then sign in back. So I'm going to use my same account, which is my root account. Now, I am user or root account. So you can use I am user. I have three more accounts there which I can use, but I'm using the same account with my 
this username and my password. So I'm going to use my password and click on sign in. Now I need my MFA code. Here you go. So now I'm going to my phone and look for my code which is going to disappear very soon. 641144 before it disappears. Now I am in. So I showed you how to use MFA and how MFA works. So while this all shows up right over here, uh, you can go to services and here your left side you see the services here and you click on all services and you will see all services available whichever service you want to work actually you can go and you can type here for example before i typed iam and you can look for iam service you click on the service and you start working wherever you want to work or whatever you want to work here so you can manage right from this point here all right, so I'm going to pause video for a second and I will send screenshot to myself. Uh, I can wait for the next video on that one. So it was from my authenticator, authenticator from my mobile phone. So it's not in any way necessary. So I hope you like this video. I will keep making my more videos and showing with you and sharing with you. Thank you.